Min here. Welcome back to Your House Fitness. Today we're going to talk about the obturator internus. Uh, it's a muscle found in your hip and very deep, okay? And uh, that's where the internus come from. It means it's inside of us. It's found within our pubic bone, actually. So this is our pelvis, right? We got uh, our crest here. And as it files down here and kind of like behind my hip, it starts from our pubic bone comes off of there, it passes through our lesser foramen of our hips, and attaches to the greater trochanter of our hip bone. So what does the obturator internus does? It only functions primarily when our hips are flexed. What that means is, is when our knees are kind of bent upwards in this position here, it allows for external rotation of our hips. So what the obturator internus does is when we do exercises like a hip hinge, a squat, or a lunge, and we need sufficient amount of hip mobility, our obturator internus will work as we descend deeper into these positions. So when I'm standing, it may not be working too much, it may see maybe isometrically, but once I start descending into maybe a squat per se, my obturator internus will have to work to keep my knees out and stacked over my feet, like so. From the side, I'm not bowed in, right? I have a good obturator internus, I'll rope it up, control, now, and that's because the operating internus also helps us stabilize the ball within its socket, that's our hip joint. Uh, it also is something that may be tight in certain individuals. A lot of times people have a lot of knee valgus, so make sure you're doing exercises such as pigeon pose or holding a deep squat to help you loosen up the operating internus and improve your mobility within that muscle group. Thank you for joining us. Yeah.